hey guys i am bored and what better thing to do right now is to clean this so there's a lot of stuff in here that i want to do like when my lives are on but i can also do it like in a video or something because i know y'all like me doing arts but i know everyone can't watch lives so i might do it in a video so yeah so i have some reading challenge things for my school which we might do this little christmas thing gifts gifts or whatever which christmas is not until three months so i can wait on this one um this is my slime plays oh and these are the oh and these are the um, two halloween I art things i have no idea halloween things and then in need after school um homework things and we're doing like state week and so we did little packets. Um, we did Texas, New York. There's others, but I think we already finished that at school. But those two I want to finish. Okay, I'm gonna put like the ones I want to finish and the ones I don't want to finish in that. Those I can finish like, tomorrow or next week. That's my birthday stuff, which I might do that in line. The point is I'm not gonna. Do. So we have two things that we're gonna do. Well, three, four, but two things and different subjects. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we need pencil colors. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is this, because this is after school and stuff like that. So, we're going to do this first. And we need colors and pens. So, we got Swifty pen. And the same colors that we had that I used in after school. So, it's not like different colors. First, the first like, packet that we're going to use. The face is looking good. Like, for real. Good. I had retouch on, but far away it still looks good. Anyways, so um, I'm just doing the thing. I did a little bit of the word search. Now I'm just doing like the coloring because a word of doing like, because I just had like five words left in the word search. So I'll update you guys when I'm done with coloring this. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'm actually like gonna color anything. So yeah. Um like, the color things I can. I'm just gonna do like the work. You know? Okay. Okay. Next is like this little Texas facts thing. I did the first one, now I'm gonna do the second one. I'll update you guys and I'll tell you like what it is. Finished. It says Texas is the second largest state in the USA. Alaska is the largest. Next thing we have like public the state, so we're gonna the video after it tells you answers and just like, you know, finish. We don't want to go two minutes, but it's 8 30 by the way. Um, so it's gonna be close to the end, so I'm not gonna go. Um, so now we're gonna do like, finish the uh, blizzard. And then, do you guys know I finally finished with Texas. Now we're going to New York. So, I'm gonna push my mic open. I'm really just thinking gonna do a little bit of the word search, do the color thing, do a little bit. If it's like around nine, I'll do a, like if it's like under nine, like if it's under like nine o'clock, I might do a little testing or whatever. But I think I'm just gonna do like five questions of the word search because like, oh, that's all I have left. And then color thing real fast, and then do test real quick because I only have like 30 minutes left to finish this. And I wanted to do a little bit of the reading challenge thing, so I really wanted to do reading. I actually really wanted to do a different thing, and so yeah. Okay, I know it doesn't look like it's gonna but I actually just finished the word search, and now I'm gonna do the like the <laughs> color and everything. I like to speak, but it's cool. I was just yapping, anyways. Um, but it broke through the paper. I finished, but it's cool. It's cool. I get to read it. Let's read. Okay. Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty may be one of the most famous statues in the world, and is certainly one of the most well-known U.S. landmarks. You will find the Statue of Liberty standing proudly on Liberty's island in New York Harbor close to New York City. The copper set statue was a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States. Dedicated in 1886, the Statue of Liberty was designed by the French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Barthodi. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Its metal framework was designed by Gustave Eiffel. I know, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but 
The Statue of Liberty official name is Statue of Liberty and lighting the world. The, sa- the statue is recreation of the Roman goddess Liberty. She lifts a torch above her head and right hand. She carries a tablet with the date of the U.S. Declaration of Independence in her left hand. A broken chain lies at her feet to symbolize this abolition of slavery in the United States. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of freedom and American patriotism. It has also been a welcoming symbol for immigrants arriving by sea. Today, the Statue of Liberty is a major tourist attraction. Have you seen it? Guys, have you seen it? Please pause this video and think, have you seen it? I have not seen the Statue of Liberty because I've never been in New York City. Anyways, number one, number one question. Which of the following statements about the Statue of Liberty is true? The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the people of France from the people of the United States. Wrong. Um, it was not the United States. I don't think it was that. So, yeah. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the people of the United States from the people of France. Well, we know it was a. Never mind. Um, not B. Hold up, it possibly is A. C. No, not C. No, it was A. <laughs> Two. What is the full official name? For- for the Statue of Liberty. Um, hold up. Statue of Li- the full. I'm gonna put the full name is Statue of Liberty and Lighting the World. Is that your homework? No. Did you already do it? Yeah. Question number three. What does the Central Liberty symbolize? Uh, it symbolizes the abolition of slavery in the United States. <coughs> it symbolizes... I don't even know if I'm in the story, but oh well. Mm. The ablation of <coughs> slavery in the United States. Period. It's like me, period. Eh, period. Blah. Okay, finished. Now, onto the next thing, which is the last thing that I want to do today, and then mom will do something else if I'm bored. Probably, most likely. So, I have this little like October reading challenge because every day in my school, every month in my school, it's like a different thing and you get prizes, which September was like different. But, anyways, this is October reading challenge directions complete all the challenges, like color in. Track your progress by climbing in each square and then time scoop. Okay, so first is ca- choose a book where a character celebrates Halloween. A big Halloween. A uh, big Halloween party. So let's see, like, which one of this book is here. So, like, if there's, if it, um, if it talks about Scarecrows and Harvest Festival in it, then check it off both those. If it has, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm probably going to check it off because y'all are my friends. It says read with, friend, with, read with a friend. And y'all are my friend. So, I'm going to check that one off. That one off. And also, my mini is right Um, And so, I have basically two. But, I don't know. Okay, so this belongs to my school library. What? Yeah. I'm going to read you guys because I want to and because I can't. Because then I'll check off more. Anyways. So this is a Halloween party, and parties is like a festival, right? No? Okay. Okay. A Big Halloween Party by Mike Bernstein. 
It was autumn in bear country and Halloween was on its way. This year, the whole neighborhood was getting together for a big Halloween party at the bear family's treehouse. There would be a costume parade, games and refreshments, a costume contest and trick or treating for all. Brother, sister and honey could hardly wait. So as you can see, it says um, parade and parades are festivals. Oh, I don't know. The cubs were thinking about their costumes. I'm gonna be a fire breathing dragon, said brother. I'm gonna be a swan mutant, mutant superhero, said sister. I'm gonna be a big bug, said honey proudly. A bug, asked sister surprised. Yes, said honey, a ladybug. Oh, said brother, that will be cute. Mama and Papa overheard the cubs. Excuse me, said Mama. Where are all these costumes coming from? The Halloween store, said Brother. I'm not sure the Halloween store has those costumes, said Papa. Perhaps you and Mama could help us make them, said Sister. Mama and Papa looked at each other and sighed. I also got this from like the TK area, you know? So, kind of easy, in my opinion. On Halloween day, the cubs' costumes were ready. They were magnificent. The whole family had indeed worked on them together. The neighbors were decorating the treehouse and setting out games and refreshments. The neighborhood cubs were wildly excited. Hmm, said Papa. Now we're going to fill them up with sugar and candy. The party began with a grand costume parade. The cubs were given all sorts of noisemakers, toy horns, cowbells, pot lids to bang on, or drums swack. They sat off on a tour of the neighborhood. Toot bong clang womp went the noisemakers. The cubs looked very nice in the costumes and they had a wonderful time making all that noise. Also, I don't know if I gotta show you. I don't know if I should do this. I'm sorry, oh, sorry guys, my phone paused. When the parade got back to the treehouse, everyone was hungry and thirsty. The parents doiled out refreshments, and when everyone was refreshed, the games began. There was bobbing for apples. Little Billy Griswold lost a tooth biting into an apple. Ah! All right, he yelled. It was oof away. Anyway, I don't know what I just read, but I read it. <laughs> that one. I laughed. Cute costume, guys. Cute costume. <laughs> Papa supervised the beanbag toss. Hey, he said as a cub accidentally bounced a beanbag off his head. Sorry, said the cub. Mama was in charge of the face painting. She did a wonderful job. By the time she was done, the cub's own, own parents didn't recognize them. I feel like you would because everyone has like, different costumes. That'd be weird if everyone came up with the same costume. It's like I'm going to be Taylor Swift. And if everyone comes up with Taylor Swift, hey, Swifties for life, hey. Mr. and Miss Bruin, 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 Bruin ran the pin pin the bone on the skeleton game and the musical tombstones game. At the end, Lizzie, Bruin, and cousin Fred both sat down on the last tombstone at exactly the same moment, so it was declared a tie. The other cubs happily ran circles around Lizzie and Fred. Wow. I love musical chairs, just I don't play as much as I did when I was little. Littler. I'm still little. I really ain't. I'm not compared to other people. Anyways. Next came the pumpkin pinata. Papa held it out on a long pole for the cubs to whack with the baseball bat while bl blindfolded. The first cub got a bit confused and whacked Papa. Ow, yelled Papa. Hopefully Papa's okay. Eventually someone took good aim and burst the pumpkin wide open. The cubs gathered up the scattered candy while poor Papa rubbed his leg. Poor Papa. And I hit you with a baseball bat. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, my 
since I cleaned my entire audio, but I like the audio. The party finished with a costume judging contest. The Cubs got up one at a time to display their costumes while everyone applaud, applauded. Then prizes were awarded. There were lots of prizes. And for the witch with the straightest hat, said Mama, giving out a prize. And for the dinosaur with the sharpest horn, said Papa, giving out another prize. Soon all the cubs had prizes and trick-or-treating could be begin. It was getting dark and the neighborhood was looking quite spooky. There were flickering lanterns along the street. Pumpkins glowed on every porch. There were fake skeletons, ghosts, gal wow, 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 spiders, and monsters everywhere. I'd be so scared of those spiders because I'm deadly scared of spiders. <laughs> the, cover, the cubs set off. Parents went along with the little ones. They marched up to each front door and knocked. Some doors were old and creaky, and some houses had sound effects of shrieks and moans. It was pretty scary, but when the doors were open, friendly neighbors were inside. Trick or treat, the cubs cried and held out bags and baskets for their treats. Also, I'm sorry I'm not shooting guys, but I don't want to keep doing that, sorry. When the last candy bar had been gathered and the final lollipops collected, the cubs returned to the treehouse to count their loot. They arranged it in neat little piles. 17, 15 bear nut bars, said brother. 17 grizzly pops, said sister. Lots of honey drops, said honey, who couldn't count very well yet. It was getting late. The moon was rising at the f as the families headed home. The littlest ones were fast asleep in their parents' arms. Good night, called mama, ma papa, brother, sister, and honey. Happy Halloween, and happy Halloween. The neighbors called back. A wonderful Halloween party had been by all the best. When I was little, I loved it when, like, the teachers or subs, like, when they were done reading, they'd be like, oh, there's a fly or whatever, and they do that, like, right in the face. Like, I couldn't even do it, like, look, like that, and make the perfect noise. I probably can't do that with this one because I don't want to rip a book or whatever, but I just did it. I like it. I like this book. I love this book and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna check off. So today I'm gonna check off something in red because my red things are here. So we read a book where our character celebrates Halloween. Obby, like I wouldn't read a Halloween book unless that's like wrong. Okay, so I'm just gonna like, color that up. Looks like blood, guys. Looks like blood. Okay, I did not read this on the weekend. It is Thursday for me. I did not read this in a homemade fort on my bed. I did not. Oh. I did not read about a mystical creature or monster, but I do know the book I'm going to do for that. Um, there was a harvest festival, I guess you can say. I mean, because it was a parade, so. You know what? Same thing. Read in a silly voice. I did not read in a silly voice. I read my own voice. Read a book with October written title. I did not read a book with um, October written title. And I did not read to my parents. And I did not read on a tree. I did not read with the flashlight. I did not play Halloween theme music while I read. But I did read with a friend. You guys, because you all are my friends. So that was three little checked off. Let's hope next time we read three, the next time three, and the next time three. So then the next. So I only have three more times to read. And then I'll be perfect then. But that's just what I'm saying to do. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to put these two things in my backpack and everything else. I'm going to clean back up and I'll be right back. Okay, I finished cleaning up. And small off from board, I'm probably going to... The rating challenge, um, the next thing I'm going to do is probably next week. Because I'm not going to get a book until like next week. You know what, tomorrow guys, I might do one of the art things I was going to do in the live. In like its own little video. So stay tuned for that one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.